How do you know if a person likes you or if they're just being friendly? You may be getting mixed signals from someone and not know what to do about it. Does it mean that they're romantically interested in you or do they just see you as a friend? If this is something you're struggling with, fear not. Today, we will be looking at 10 signs that they're just being friendly and not into you. Number one, they don't reciprocate your advances. Are you always the one trying to engage with them? If you notice that you're always initiating conversations or planning for events with them, then you're probably stuck in the friend zone. Similarly, if they're not giving you the time you deserve, it may mean that you're not on their list of priorities. While this may upset you or cause you to do something uncharacteristic to get their attention, remember that there is nothing wrong with you just the way you are. Number two, they get confused by the things you're doing. Have you ever tried to subtly ask them out? How did they respond? If they seemed confused, mildly uncomfortable, or like they didn't care, then they probably see you as just another one of their peers. After all, if they really liked you back, then they'd jump at any opportunity to get closer to you. So if they seem confused by your actions, maybe it would be better to leave them alone for the moment. Let them come to you first, and then you engage. Number three, they talk about the people they're seeing. Do they open up to you about their crushes or recent flings? They may do this because they genuinely like you, but just not in a romantic way. It's not easy to constantly be on the receiving end of them talking about their crushes. You may feel jealous or develop a negative outlook on yourself. In this case, it may be best to tell them that you're uncomfortable about the topic and would prefer to talk about other things. Number four, they treat you like how they treat their friends. Friendships are good foundations for relationships, but what if they're acting too friendly to the point that it's not even romantic anymore? Being attracted to someone comes with a certain pressure. You may find yourself intentionally highlighting your attractive qualities to gain their attention. So if it seems that they're doing the exact opposite of that and are not afraid of showing you their unfiltered selves, such as by changing in front of you or eating with their mouths open, then it's likely that they see you as just a buddy. Number five, when you hang out, they bring other people. Have you ever been disappointed because a supposed date became an all out mingling session? When you ask them out, do they always arrive with a friend or two? While you may be frustrated and annoyed at what they're doing, it may actually be their way of putting boundaries between the both of you. Perhaps they've already gotten wind of your feelings and are trying to put some distance between you two. They may be bringing other people in to act as mediators between you. Number six, they say things that make you second guess their feelings. Did you think that someone was into you only for them to say something that completely wrecked that thought? It's not a secret that if someone likes you, they'll probably compliment you a lot. But sometimes you may mistake those compliments to be something more than they actually are. That's why it helps to learn to accept compliments and leave it at that. Try not to think further about what it means. If they really like you, they will show and do more things to make you know. Number seven, when you get teased together, they laugh it off or deny it fast. Are they quick to brush off people's comments that tease you both together? They may be doing this because they're uncomfortable with being teased about things that aren't true. Perhaps they just wanna be your friend and don't want the little comments bothering you every now and then. It sucks, but it's probably their way of making sure that there won't be any tension between the two of you. Try not to take it to heart. Number eight, they ship you with other people. Do they seem happy or excited to find someone for you? When they do this, it means that they're satisfied with seeing you being romantic with others. If not, they would start displaying signs of jealousy or irritation at the sight of you with someone else. So if they're the one leading the quest of finding you a partner, then it seems like they just wanna make you happy as a friend. And if you find it uncomfortable, it's best to tell them upfront rather than letting it snowball into a bigger problem for you in the future. Number nine, they ask you for favors. Have you ever had your hopes up because they messaged you only to find out that it was to ask you for a favor? If they're often asking you to pick up something for them, give you the answer for homework, or get you to take their shift at work, then chances are they probably only see you as a trustworthy friend and nothing else. And number 10, they ask you to set them up with other people. Have they ever approached you and told you that your friend was cute and asked if you could set them up together? Once it reaches this point, they most likely have no romantic interest in you and aren't aware that you have feelings for them. Because if they did, then asking for this kind of favor would be inappropriate and mean. Are you feeling unsure about your crush's feelings? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it.
And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video. Do you think you're in the friend zone? If not, congratulations, that's great news. But if you are, remember that it's okay to be sad and keep in mind that what today lacks might be what tomorrow will bring. The important thing is to be unapologetically yourself and the rest will follow. Do you have any friend zone or confession experiences? Please comment them down below. We appreciate hearing your stories. Maybe you can even find someone who can relate too.